As you move towards the implementation of a one-to-one -one program in your school or district or region, you'll have questions top of mind about professional development. People always want to know what's going to be the role of coaches in this, in this implementation. Do you have space in there for action research as an element of the change management strategy that you put in place? We decided to ask teachers and school leaders around the world for the ways in which they had had effective professional development and what had been the impact. Um, in designing effective professional development, uh, sometimes we see schools who try to continue doing the same thing that they've always done but add the laptop piece to it. Anticipating different outcomes but not doing anything different both in the classroom and with professional development. So there's really three key questions that leaders need to ask themselves when they think about how can I help my teachers be effective with one-to-one. -one. The first one is what are the elements that are already here that are going to help to profit that work? In other words, what do we need to keep doing? Another one is, what do we need to stop doing? And that's probably the hardest question for most folks to look at, most educators to look at is, you know, what do we need to quote the practices that are not going to be effective with this work anymore? And then the third question is, what do I need to start doing? The idea with the breakout sessions is that staff run small group sessions whereby they're teaching other teachers how to use tools that have been tried, tested and proven to work in their classrooms. So we now have a system where um, at least six times a year teachers will be spending some time in um, another teacher's classroom. So they might go in for 15 minutes at the beginning of a lesson or 15 minutes at the end of a lesson, but they are um, they're, they're seeing how other teachers um, develop their classrooms. The other thing that really does impact, I think, the adult learning is the leadership message, having a regular message, for example. Uh, what, why are we doing this? What is that one message that we would always, if somebody says one-to-one -one at your school, we know why we're doing one-to-one. -one. We know why we've got this type of a program. For us, what's really incredibly important is teachers as researchers, so that we're documenting this journey along the way and we have our research questions as educators along the way as to why did we put out that provocation? Why did we ask that question? Um, why was that experience provided to the children? Um, and if we had, had done something else in that instance, would have the direction of the inquiry changed? Um, how can we reflect on that next time to improve this ongoing process? The thing that makes a really effective coach is they've got a strong pedagogy. They understand how students learn. They understand the power of this very, very strong, effective learning device called a laptop uh, sitting in front of students. They understand that first and foremost it's about thinking and doing. That coach is a valuable thinking partner. Whether there's somebody on your staff that's there at your school or they're an external coach coming down to your staff, uh, probably the biggest contributor that coaching provides for educators is that you've got somebody who helps you think about your work, not only currently, but proactively, what's coming ahead. Not everybody comes on board with the first training or the second training or even the first year. But as they see the successes that are happening in the rooms next door, teachers wander in and say, how did you do that? My kids are talking about it in my class. And it grows. So there's an evolutionary component within it all. And that is where, you know, it kind of rubs up against the, the demands placed on education where people are looking for an immediacy of results. So they want results within a, you know, a year or two or three like this. But what we definitely saw was this evolutionary component within the teacher's own, own uh, methodology, their own pedagogy. 